Welcome to the channel. My name is Feroz. I'm a third year medicine undergraduate at Bronwyn and Keys College at the University of Cambridge. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to choose a Cambridge college. So what actually is a college? A college is essentially where you live, where you socialise and where you eat and also where you might receive some of your supervision. Cambridge has 31 colleges, two of these are girls only, and you get to make your preference of college when you're applying to Cambridge, or you can submit an open application. I personally would definitely recommend applying to a specific college, just because of the existence of the winter pool, which is essentially if you don't quite make it to the college, but you're still good enough for Cambridge, the college can put you into the winter pool for another college to select you from it. So I would definitely recommend actually selecting a specific college. How do you do this? That's what I'm going to talk about next. So the first thing I'll consider is location. Some colleges are located a lot more centrally, right in the heart of Cambridge. These are colleges like King's, Keys, St John's, Trinity. Whereas other colleges are definitely a lot further away, such as Girton and Homerton. And if you're choosing these colleges, be prepared to have a bike. I mean, if you don't mind biking, it's not really that big a deal. At the end of the day, no one really minds it that much. But I definitely do think it makes a difference living centrally during exam season especially. When you have an exam at 9am, it is definitely a privilege to be able to roll out of bed at 8.30 and just rock up with less than a 10 minute walk. And another thing just to be aware of is just because you go to a central college doesn't mean your accommodation is going to be central. So for example, in first year, I lived in Harvey Court, which was a bit further away from the Keys main site, which is central. It wasn't that big a deal, but it was about a 15 minute walk to lectures. And I was a bit surprised, I guess, because I thought I'd be living centrally because it's Keys, but that isn't always the case. So just be aware of this. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is admission statistics. So right up now on the screen, you can see the Cambridge Admission Statistics website. You can select a course, you can select a college, you can see the acceptance rate year on year and as you can see there's quite a big variation between colleges. Now this doesn't necessarily mean don't apply to a college with a low acceptance rate because again as I mentioned the winter pool does exist but it is definitely something you might want to consider. One of the reasons I picked Keys was because it had a quite high acceptance rate of around 22%. My mentality was, if I am one of 25 medics the Keys accepts, I need to be in the top 25 of the applicants the Keys, which I think is possible, versus if I apply to a college that accepts, say, six people, I may be up against six absolute geniuses, but it's less likely, I guess, for all 25 people to be essentially uncompetable with. So that was the way I thought of it. Should you base your entire college choice on admission statistics? I don't think so. But I would definitely say it's something to consider, especially since the information is so freely available. Now the next thing I want to talk about is kind of the, just the general appearance and vibe of your college. Some colleges are definitely a lot more stereotypical Cambridge, such as King's, Trinity, Keys, they have big fancy halls, fancy formals and they're just really like old school in terms of their appearance versus other colleges that might be a lot more modern such as like Robinson and Churchill a bit more different I guess from your stereotypical Cambridge college. This doesn't matter a huge amount but it depends on the type of person you are. Some people really like having like an old school type of Cambridge college. I definitely really like the big fancy formals we have at Keys. So this is just another thing to consider, which college really speaks to you and which college you really just like the vibe of. Another thing you want to look at is the accommodation available at your college. So for example, some colleges may guarantee accommodation for all three undergraduate years and some colleges may, for example, guarantee you an ensuite. Uh, at Keys, we're guaranteed an ensuite in first year, but not in second and third year. And if these are things that you want or that you need, you definitely do want to consider the accommodation. And another thing you want to consider is kitchens. Some colleges have really amazing kitchens. Some colleges have kitchens without hobs. So that is something you might want to research if you like cooking a lot. Another thing you might want to consider is just the entry requirements for colleges. In general, for your subject, it's probably going to be pretty similar across colleges. I know different colleges, for example, can have different interview structures and sometimes some colleges, for example, may require written work prior to an interview for subjects, say, like history or English literature. This is something you might want to check as well as just specific subject requirements 
At Keys, for example, they specified that I needed to get an A-star in chemistry as part of my offer. And I've heard of friends being specified in A-star in maths for medicine, for example. So this is something that different colleges might do and something you may want to look at. Say, for example, if you're quite weak on chemistry, you might want to apply to a college that doesn't specify an A-star in A-level chemistry. The next thing I'd definitely consider is the facilities of the college. Most colleges have like a college sports centre and sports ground where you'll have things like squash courts, tennis courts, etc, etc. Different colleges might have special facilities that other colleges don't and also facilities that are just more convenient to get to. Keys, for example, has the Barton Road sports ground, which is really nice, but it's a bit far. I've only ever been to it once. Versus a college like Girton, for example, as far as I'm aware, I think the sports grounds are a bit more close by. And also three colleges have pools on site. Girton has a pool and it's really nice. Christ has a pool, it's also really nice. And Emma has a pool, which is really popular in the summer months. So if you're someone who likes swimming, you might want to go to one of these colleges. I personally don't go to them, but I do go to their pools and it's really enjoyable. It's one of the most things to, fun things to do in the summer months after the exams or before the exams or during the exams. Next thing I'm just going to touch on quickly is just academics. So personally, I don't think your college choice matters too much academically, just because supervisions can be organized with supervisors from other colleges. The way it works is you have a director of studies in your college and your lectures, your practicals, your exams are all managed centrally by the university. So you'll have lectures in central lecture halls, you'll have exams in examination rooms or labs as we did. And really your college doesn't matter too much. The only thing that might matter is just kind of how your college likes to teach. So in Keys, for example, in first year, they go really intense on essays with medicine. I had about five to six essays a week. Versus at some other college, they had like two to three essays a week or some even less than that. So, I mean, this might just some, be something you want to talk to people about if you, for example, want kind of a less pressured environment, maybe. But yeah, again, academics and colleges shouldn't differ too much, but there are subtle differences that you may want to consider. Next thing you might want to consider is societies. So some colleges, for example, have a really strong choir. I know that Keys Choir, for example, is quite big. So if you're someone who's into that type of thing, you may want to just look at which colleges have first the facilities and also the societies that you're interested in and if you can get involved with these and what kind of the benefits are of being in these societies and things like that. And my last piece of advice for choosing a college is pick a college that speaks to you. At the end of the day, picking a college is not an exact science. You can't just base it on admission statistics or appearance or what you've heard from other people. You may want to go there, visit them yourself or watch YouTube videos about them and see which college really speaks to you. At the end of the day, it's going to be the place where you're living, where you're socializing mainly, for at least three years. So definitely pick somewhere where you think you'll feel at home and where you think you'll enjoy it. If you're applying to Oxbridge, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I've got tons more advice coming out. Thank you for watching.